Hello, everyone. This is Grandmaster Alexander Lenderman here with another Banter Blitz event. And again, hopefully we'll be able to play for a couple of hours. So that means that my plan is to play people of all different rating ranges. I'm hoping to play at least one game against uh, against under 1500, at least one game 1500 to 2000, at least one game 2000 to 2500 at least one game 2,500 to 3,000, and maybe even one game 3,000 and above if I get that kind of a challenge. So, and I'm also hoping to play at least one of every time control, like three, three, zero, three, two, and five, zero, just to get everyone a, a chance to play. But it looks like Anhom is not here, so we'll have to abort that game. And uh, let's play, Let's play another game. Let's play against um, Undisputed. Let's start with um, a 1400 player and um, just uh, try and get him out of the way. So we have Undisputed from Tanzania. So it's a country in Africa. So I don't think I've ever played someone from there. So should be interesting. Good luck, undisputed. Um, so I'm gonna play my old favorite, <clears throat> the Smith Moore Gambit, which has won me lots of uh, exciting wins when I was a young kid. I used to really like this opening. Okay, so he's transposing into the C3 Sicilian though, which isn't quite as fun but sometimes still leads to interesting open positions. So let's see how he handles it. Knight of three. Okay, so he's thinking for a little bit here. So far he's playing quite sensibly. Knight c6, knight c3. I would probably play d6 first. I think at some point he will have to play it. Sometimes I like to keep the knight on b8 flexible in cases it might want to go to d7. But certainly he's still okay. And uh, I would say he's still doing fine probably. But I do have a pretty active position. So... Let's see what he does. He can probably castle here, unless I can take on h7, which takes, takes knight g5. I'm, I'm wondering about that, king g6, h4. It's kind of interesting, but I don't know if I should do it. I can also castle, it looks decent for me. Maybe he should just play h6, but then queen e2, queen e4. You know, now that I look at it, I kind of like white here already. So I think this position is uh, slightly dangerous for black because I have initiative possibilities and he's using a lot of time. So we'll see what he does. 97, all right, so let's see. Okay, I guess I'll just castle and won't keep it, we'll keep it simple. Okay, so he was clearly afraid of this bishop h7 thing, so that's why he defended. But now I think he's in big trouble because queen h5. Um, now he has to play h6, only defense, and then I can take on f7. And I win a lot of material. Well, not a lot of material for now, just a pawn, but, you know, his king will also be in ruins, so it's going to be a lot of trouble for black. And he resigned. All right, good game, undisputed. Okay, so it looks like I already played twice against him. Okay, so let's play another game now. Let's play against uh, Welverin. Uh, actually, it's also a five-minute game. So let's play a, a three-minute game. Actually, Shelling Ford, I did play once already before. So let's try to see if I haven't played anyone yet. Looks like everybody challenges me with five minutes. Okay, so let's play, let's see, let's play Welverine then. Let's play another five minute game. 2300. Okay, Welverine from Syria. 
Good luck. Okay, so last time I played a lot of Frenches. This time, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's play the Caracan a little bit. Let's take it. And uh, let's play Bishop of five, the most common main line. Knight of 397. Yeah, this is all theory. Yeah, here I think queen a5 is the move. And knight of six. Now he can't castle very easily, so I think this is already quite good for me. B4, okay, so let's play. Mm. Good question where to play with the queen. I kind of like queen a4 with the idea of a5. Get some initiative. A3, okay. Let's see. Okay, Let's play here. Excuse me. Okay, takes. Yeah, I saw that. I thought I will take here. Now he cannot take with a pawn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was good though for me. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's try this move. <clears throat> A will for exchange of queens. Get to this interesting endgame where we both have some weaknesses. Okay, this should be five. Okay, let's play rookie eight. I actually blundered this bishop takes f6. Yeah, kind of a sloppy game for me. Maybe this queen a4, maybe this queen a4 thing wasn't so good actually, now that I think about it. Because I don't really like my position very much here. Okay, but let's hope for the best. At least I have. I have material equality here, so shouldn't be too bad, I think. I couldn't play rook b6, unfortunately, because of knight e7. Okay, so he plays here. Hmm. Rook b6, knight e7, king h8, king h7, takes takes okay i guess we'll do this i had a feeling that the end game is probably lost this i should make a draw king g6 or maybe i'm can i even be better here no because king g6 what exactly is he gonna play here rook d7 king f5 knight d6 Knight d6, but I thought, can I, let's see, rook d4, can you do anything? Oh, rook g7, wow, that's clever. That was tricky. Yeah, so that means I have to play this move. Because uh, rook takes d4, there was this nasty trap, rook takes g7. So the moral of the story is you got to always consider your opponent's ideas. Like when you want to play your move, you have to consider what's your opponent going to do against it. It's a very important lesson that I always teach all my students. Yeah, so here at least I have no losing chances and uh, hopefully 
hopefully there's some winning chances even here, which is a very pleasant uh, turn of events considering what was happening earlier in this game. Uh, okay, king d5. And let's play rook f6. So can I take on f3? That's the question. Takes, takes king d4, king here, king e5, king g3, king f5, f4. Uh, let's see. King e4 here, g6. Uh, yeah, it looks like it might be winning, but... Okay, let's try to tell with this again. Rook takes, takes, king d4, king g2, king e5, king g3. If I go g5, he goes king g4. If I go king f5, he goes f4. Uh, if I go h5, king h4, g6, king here, king e4. Ah, okay, that might be. Okay, so once again, rook f3 takes, takes, king g3, king e5, king g3, king f5. I think he has to play f4. Then I play h5, king f3, h4. If king uh, f3, g6, if king h4, yes, I think I am winning. Yeah, I think this is winning. <clears throat> so now he has to play f4 because otherwise I go king f4, king g2 and just lose a tempo. So f4 is forced. And then I play, yeah, I think I play h5, king h4, g6, king g3, king e4, f3, king e3. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm winning this. So notice how I spend like half of my time, remaining time on this, because I figured if this is winning, I'll easily be able to win even in one minute. So that's why, you know, for this critical moment, even in the Blitz game, I decided to spend, invest, like at least 30 seconds to really make sure that I'm not messing it up. Because if I don't do that, it might still be a long technical task to try to win that. So this was, I think, uh, a very important investment of my time. Now this should be relatively simple, I think. To win that. You know, he's thinking for some time, but at this point, he's uh, pretty clearly lost. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a lucky escape for me, because I think uh, I didn't play so well this game. I blundered some things, but then I was able to trick him a little bit and avoid his tricks. So, happy to have, uh, well, didn't win officially yet, but um, now... It's a matter of simple technique. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see who else is waiting. Okay. I guess we have a bunch of five-minute games. So we'll play uh, a person now in the range 1,500 to 2,000. All right, so let's, uh, good luck, Anand MP from India. So, so far we played from three different countries. Interesting. All right, let's try something new. Let's play the Petrov. And let's see what he does. And now I'm gonna play the Eric Rosen specialty, which he likes a lot in Blitz. Objectively, it's not very sound, so don't try it at home. Like, in other words, don't try it in a serious over the board tournament. But in online blitz, it could be quite fun, could be quite playable, leads to some fun lines. But so you play d4, he avoids all that. All right, so let's see what to do. Um, do I take on e4 or I take on e5 first? If I take on e4, he goes queen e2. And I might be losing a piece, so I think I need to. Mm. But if I take first, it goes queen d5. So am I definitely losing a piece? Let's see, knight e4, queen e2. Is so it definitely bad? d5 takes takes f3. 
Yeah, I don't see. Oh, maybe Queen E7 is also a move. Actually, yes, I think Queen E7 might be a move here. Yeah, that's a strong move, I think. Because then if Knight C6, I take on E4 with the Queen. And uh, I will get the pawn back, I think. Although now that I look at it, there is Knight C3, takes, takes, and F4, which is actually maybe not so great for me. So, hmm. yeah, maybe I messed up, actually. Who knows? It's not so clear. Okay, I can play Queen A5. It's not too bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe it's maybe what I'm doing is wrong. Yeah, and he correctly, he, he plays this move. Yeah, he correctly plays this. So, F4, Queen A5. Okay, so you didn't play f4. Okay, that makes me makes me feel a little bit more relaxed. Because that four I think was a little bit dangerous. So at least I can probably play d6 next move. Or maybe even d5. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll just play d6. But at least f4 I can go back to e7. Okay, so let's see what's happening after knight g4. Knight g4, f4, queen d4, check, takes, takes. I think it's good. Because g3, I can also go queen h5. So it looks like it's a bit awkward for him. Maybe it's not too bad, but at least it creates some problems. If g3, I can also just castle because. I already induced a very annoying weakness for him. So it's looking good. Better than I could have expected from this uh, opening, for sure. Yeah, so he's, he's thinking here for some time. In general, five-minute games take a while, so I don't want to only play five-minute games because then I don't get a chance to play too many people, but that's why I will make sure that I also accept some three-minute challenges. Just, uh, I mean, I think five-minute is more quality chess, but the point is also to try to get everyone a chance to play, as many people as possible, so it's kind of uh, goes both ways in a way. Yeah, so queen h5, he'll go h4. You know, and then I'll just go here. Because then if he trades queens, I'm attacking knights except four. Just trying to get a pleasant end game here. Okay, he doesn't want an end game. That's uh, risky with his king position, for sure. So now I, oh, I can't go queen g6 because of h5. That's a nice trick. Okay, so I have to go here. And now bishop d5, knight d5. Sorry, bishop g4, knight g4, knight d5. Yeah, maybe I should just trade queens, actually, because my queen might be kind of stranded in some lines. So far, it's a very interesting game. He's playing quite well, I would say. Um, maybe not perfectly, but I think he has a good position for sure. Now, this, I think he made a mistake. He definitely should have taken on g4, because now he's just losing a pawn. So this was the first real mistake my opponent made, I think. Because I think it just blunders the pawn. If he takes on g4 and plays knight d5, he still would have been, uh, I think, uh, better. Maybe not better, but for sure fine. But now, just going to be up a pawn and end game. Extra time on the clock. So at this point, I can't complain. The game is going quite well. So, yeah, so next comes rook e8. And then hopefully I have a four and three advantage on the queen side, and hopefully I can convert it at some point. But I think his clock situation will also be a problem. So he's playing well so far, but, you know, I'll probably just trade off all the rook. Simplify a little bit more. Okay, knight d5, but uh, I think I can just play king f8, bishop d4, c5, 
okay. Let's go here. Okay, so now he has to take it. Now I get a good square for my knight, d6 square. And uh, knight endgames up a pawn are usually winning, especially if there's not that much counterplay, especially if there are pawns on both sides of the board. As we saw, knight endgames are very tricky to defend, even if they're drawn, as we saw in the game uh, Alexeyenko against uh, Giri from the candidates. Uh, they involve a lot of calculation, but this endgame certainly looks like good objective chances to win, but also his time situation is very bad, so it's looking good for me. Now my king is getting very active, and now I think he's just going to lose the pawn. Yeah, and the rest is uh, quite simple. And he resigned. Down on position, down on the clock. All right, so let's see who's next. Um, so let's see a three-minute game now. I see a three-minute game right here. So let's play against uh, Sergei. Uh, well, actually, I've played him last time. So let's play. I've played this guy as well before. So let's see who else is there. And I've played Cobra before. Um, let's play. Uh, let's see. Retelli, Retelli, Retrelli, I think I've never played. So let's uh, try to play him, the game. Retrelli from Spain. So, so far, different countries every game. All right, let's try something interesting. Knight of 3v6, it's the Magnus Carlsen played this against Ilyanov. Okay, we'll just play g6. Play simple. Okay, so so far nothing special is happening. Just position. Both sides are developing normally. Yeah, so that gives us at least one game against the player in the twenty five hundred to three thousand range. That's the that was the idea to play people of all, all different levels and all different time controls, and hopefully play people I haven't played before. At least first, I mean, eventually I will play people who I've played before, but my goal is to try to play people who I've never played before first, to try to get as, give as many chances, as many people a chance to play as, as I can. And so far, I would say my opponent is playing very well. Possibly he's outplayed me. Like his pawn on c6 is very menacing. If I don't round it up very quickly, it could be a very big nuisance. But I will try. I'll play, I'll try to play d5. Um, but I have a feeling my position is not so great. unfortunately e4 so what's happening after knight d7 I'm just curious maybe it's oh no i can't what am i doing the bishop is still about alive no that's just crazy <laughs> don't mind that yeah i guess i have to just play normal moves all right so can i play d5 here i guess i can Okay, let's take this. So the c6 pawn is annoying, but at least there is uh, actually. Hmm. All right, so let's go back. Yeah, I think I need to play e5, e4 if I want any chances to. I need to at least shut down that bishop. Queen c5, okay, so let's play e4, rook d5, you know, get the queen out of my house. Okay, let's play rook d3, uh, try to create some threats. 
Okay, so now what? Uh, now it's a problem because see four pawn is hanging and I'm pinned, my knight is pinned. Okay, so let's play three. I guess I have to open up the bishop, but at least I'm opening up his king as well. So let's see what happens. Uh, my position is for sure quite dangerous. Okay, so this does give me the a5, a3 pawn. I'm not sure exactly what he has in mind. Oh, this this is what he has in mind. Okay. I didn't see that. All right, so let's play 98. Trying to keep myself in the game here. Okay, king g8. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, rookie three. So what I'm hoping, I think maybe he had rookie one, but then knight d6, so I have a feeling I'm losing somehow, but I'm just trying to play moves after which it's not easy for him to win, but it definitely is looking not great. All right, so, okay, so rookie seven, perhaps. And take back. Okay, so he keeps the queens. Let's see what now. I guess a five is a possibility. I need to create counterplay with that pass pawn. At least I'm optimistic because of the time here. Uh, he's getting very low on time. As long as I don't lose right away, uh, I think he just won't have enough time to win. And especially not now, because now I get a chance to trade rooks. And now even my position doesn't seem so bad anymore. The best case scenario for him is he wins a piece, but um, I always have perpetual chances, but at this point, I feel like I can play for a win even in most. Yeah, so let's see if I play. I guess I'll just play here. Take here and play B2. All right. Yeah, so here he might still be fine but at this point clearly the worst is behind me all right so let's see who else we have okay so we have um cthulhu three of the only three two game okay so let's play cthulhu i don't remember if i played this person before or not uh from antarctica oh wow yeah maybe i didn't so let's uh let's play this guy so knight of three, d5, d3, my pet system. Now, like I said, I wanted to play at least one game. That's three, two. Okay, rookie eight, interesting waiting move. Okay, I'll also play a waiting move. I'll play d3. Let's see what it does. Bishop f8, okay, I will stop him from going to e5 for sure. Yeah, here I think I'm just a little bit better because I have a very more harmonious position and he has problems with it. his pieces are very passive here. So can't be great for him, I think. But of course he's solid and after B6, it's not it's not so bad for him. For now, I will just put my pieces on good squares and let's see what plan he chooses. At some point, I'm thinking about playing e4 or knight e5. But for now, let's see what, what he does. Goes queen c7. All right. All right, so should I go play e4 right away or should I wait? All right, let's play queen e2. Hmm. All right, let's play knight e5. Because if he takes twice, then I take on d5. And if he takes takes knight d7, then I play f4, and then eventually e4. So hoping hope hopefully I have some edge here. But maybe nothing special actually. Again, it's a fast game, so you have to just make these judgment calls. Okay, so I can't play e4 right away, unfortunately, because he goes d4. If rook takes, then bishop c5. 
so I guess I have to play something like King H1. Um, okay, I guess I'll do that. So I'm threatening to play E4. Yes, yeah, so now he has a tough choice because I am threatening e4. But he doesn't have a great way to deal with it. So maybe he could have considered e5 or something, but I don't know if it really worked. e5 or c5. Yeah, now I think I'm much better. If he takes, takes, I mean, he has problems with h7 score now. For example, here I'm threatening queen d3, I'm threatening queen h5. And my bishops are looking very menacing. Yeah, so now I think many moves should win. Queen d3 looks very good, but queen h5 might even be better. Because h6, queen g6, uh, queen d3. Queen d3, there is some c5 move, actually. Okay, let's just play queen h5. I think that's uh, more direct because then I'm also threatening queen h7, not just bishop h7, but queen h7 as well. And if g6, I just take on g6. c5, I just go king g1. So this looks winning. And if h6, then I can just take, take on e5 or I can go queen g6, uh, probably queen g6. And um, should be winning. Okay, g6, I will take that. g1. Yeah, he probably needs to play rook e7. Seems like the only move. And then I have a choice how to win. I can take on h7 and go queen g6 and but it's not so easy because bishop h7 takes queen g6, rook g7, queen g6 takes takes the ef in the end. There's also fe, f takes e5, bishop takes e5. And you can also go bishop f5, simply moving the bishop away. But then he plays rook f8 or something, rook e8. OK, so there's, it's not so simple. Uh, OK, let's take that. That looks like it's good. OK, let's take that again. And let's take this guy. So this, I thought, was the most direct and uh, straightforward. Here, I'm just winning two pawns without too much counterplay. And now I think I have bishop f5. Okay, king g8. Okay, so I still have to be careful. There's queen e3 threats. Queen e3 is a threat. Okay, let's split. Wait, let's see. All right, let's play here. Yeah, I was hoping for rook g7, bishop h7. I think the best move might have been moving the king somewhere. But okay, this is pretty easily winning also. Here I'm just up uh, changing two points. So yeah, now it's very simple. All right, and he resigned. Okay, so looks like I've never played him. That's good. So I played a new player. All right, let's see who. So I played every time control now. I've played under 1500. I've played. 1500 to 2000, I've played 2000, 2500, and I've played above 2500. So let's see if there's anyone above 3000. Doesn't look like that. Okay. So since that's the case, let's just play in order then. Let's go back to playing some five minute games. So let's play um, against Mishok uh, from United States this time. Um, okay, so let's play the English defense. Something that I typically like to do in the in blitz. 
e6, b6 is English defense. Bishop b7. Bishop b4. And uh, the idea is, okay, if bishop g5 is interesting, I'll play knight e7 simply. Then I'll try to play f6. And play the structure. Okay, this I think he shouldn't really do because I just I wanted to take on c3 anyway, so I think that just lost the tempo. And now I think he, if I'm not mistaken, I think he just plundered the piece. That was actually one of my tricks. That's why I played d6 to well, it's like one of these moves where it's good anyway, but it also along the way sets a trap. So and now it's uh, game over. I think. So there was still hope if I take with the f pawn, there might be some bishop h7 tricks, but of course I was going to take with the d pawn. Yeah, now it's uh, just down a piece without really adequate compensation. So, yeah, it should be a matter of simple technique now. Obviously, offering a queen trade is a good idea when you're. Uh, I had a material like that. And okay, knight c6 with the idea of knight a5 now, developing my pieces. Okay, so let's go queen f7. So he's trying his best now. He's trying to push his h1 off the board, but probably should not really do anything because my king just uh, hides on h7 or h8 and there's really no attack, but at least he has to try something. So kudos to him for, for trying. But the problem for him is that his pieces are quite passive. The bishop on g3, the knight on um, f3. So that's why his attack shouldn't really work. I'll just take this pawn now. So now there is no knight takes e5. It was important not to blunder that knight takes e5. That was potentially his last chance. And he resigned. All right, so that was a good quick game. All right, so let's play. Okay, I think I might have played him before this guy Kelly show Gi, but I think at this point I've played most of the guys who are challenging me. So let's let's play him again. To Kelly Joe Key. Um and we'll check after the game if indeed I've played him before. But this name sounds familiar, but maybe I was black against him. I don't remember for sure. He's from Uzbekistan. So I don't remember if it's like I played him or someone else on Banter Blitz played him, but uh, well, we'll find out after the game, of, I, I guess. So I think he should have started with bishop b4, actually. To me, that seemed a little bit more precise, but uh, oh, you can do it now. Yeah, that was silly. Yeah, I could. I should have just taken an e4, actually. Okay, now we'll play an interesting position where I sack a pawn, but I get some interesting play in return. I think I briefly analyzed this from the black side, actually, because I I studied this a little bit as black as well. So, so there is compensation, but probably not more than that for white. Because my pieces are more active, I have two bishops. Yeah, I had to probably stop knight before. Um, okay, so what does he want? Okay, let's play a4 to try to play bishop a3. D6. Okay, let's play, let's see. Okay, let's try this anyway.
So D6 is a little bit weak now. So F4, taking away the F4 square from the knight and also thinking about some attack. All right, and now I think he maybe made a mistake because I don't really see where the knight goes now. So that was also, like I said, one of these moves, multi-purposeful moves, preparing uh, some attack, but also setting a little sneaky trap along the way. And sometimes these moves are very powerful because opponent might see you're threatening one thing, like your idea might have one idea, but they miss sometimes your other idea. That's why in chess it's so important to ask yourself what are all the things opponent wants with a certain move? That's like a common question. Not just one thing that opponent wants, but all the things opponent wants. Because sometimes we tend to focus on one idea opponent has, but we miss potentially some other idea. And that's uh, that could be quite dangerous. And now I think this is looking very bad for him. Uh, so I can play knight f6. He cannot take because of queen g3 and bishop f6. So he has to go king h8. And uh, then I'm thinking just queen g3. Oh, he, wow, he did take. Did I miss something? No, I think he just gets made it. I think he just gets made it. Okay, so I didn't play actually against this person. So that was good that I did. Okay, I definitely know. I'm pretty sure I played against Sergei Rachmanov. And I definitely remember playing against Shellen Ford. But let's so let's play against Lorenz Trent for now. And then we'll see. Because I don't remember playing against Lorenz Trent. Sounds almost like Lorenz Trent, but not uh, not quite. Um so this is from Poland. So it's interesting. I'm playing people from all over the country today. Played a person from Tanzania. Uzbekistan, Spain, United States, everywhere. So very interesting. Okay, so this is a pretty popular line with knight takes d5. Uh, the most common move, I think, is queen c2. But I like to try this move, queen b1. I think it's also a very interesting move. Queen c2 leads to a very sharp position. Wesley so played queen c2 against me in this position when I was black. And it was a very interesting fight. But I decided to play queen b1. Uh, I think both moves have their pluses and minuses. The plus of queen b1 is that on c2 it does not get tempoed. But also you can't connect the rook as easily. So it uh, can go both ways. But for now I'm attacking h7. So let's see how he guards it. My next move is castles. And... Uh, and we'll see. All right, so rook d1 makes some sense here. So now let's see what to do. I mean, I'm thinking knight takes d5, bishop h7, and bishop f5. I think this, this maneuver seems decent. If he takes, I take back with the queen. And then I kind of like my position. I have very active pieces. I might be thinking about playing t4, get, trying to give him an isolated pawn. Maybe he should not have taken that because now I have a very active queen as well. Then I'll play rook c1. So yeah, it's looking uh, very good for me. d4. Yeah, d4, I'll just play rook d1, I guess. And d4 looks interesting. Trying to shut down my bishop. So, yeah, it looks okay for him, actually, this position. The only thing is I have a time advantage, but in fact, I think he's playing pretty decently so far. All right, so let's see what to do here. Not so easy. He's playing very, very well. Something can I take on d4 twice? Takes, takes, 
takes my text, group C8, group C8, group C8, group C8, this should be four, group C2. Takes, 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 queen c8, knight e2, king of one, queen d3. Hmm. I don't really even see what to do. Okay, I'll just play a move and see what he does. Yeah, maybe I just don't have anything here. Can't find the great move here so i just have to play quick move then see what happens maybe he maybe he does something that helps me out because it's also not easy for him to find the move it's one of these whoever blinks first position okay so b6 so can i do this whole thing now is the question Okay, well, at least now I can play queen e4, and then the b6 knight is being attacked. So, so maybe that's something actually. Oh, so you took with the knight, but that's that does lose a pawn. So the question is, do I want to keep the knight or the bishop? Okay, I probably want to keep the bishop. because then I'm also attacking b6 with the tempo. So at least this is, an, this is an extra pawn. It's not a great one. It's kind of weak, but it's still a pawn. So it should give me winning chances. Okay, let's see how to play here. How to play here. Huh, don't know. Hmm. Hmm. What to do here? Again, I don't see a move. That's a, this is a, this is an annoying, an annoying game. A lot of a lot of tough tough moves and maybe i have to give back the pawn so here i was thinking yeah i was actually calculating that i thought i can do this and rook c1 um now he could play b4 but then king f1 i'm thinking and then i take on c3 and maybe this is this is some winning chance for me i mean it's a little bit oh but this no this can't be that good then i just take simply King of one, okay, now that, that, that's just an extra point. I mean, he should have tried before. Um, no, now it's uh, very good winning chances for me because my pawns are now healthy and uh, my rook is pretty active as well. So, and I, I will make a passed pawn sooner rather than later. So he was playing really well up to a while, but I don't know why he didn't play before. I mean, before still seemed unclear to me yeah now this looks very good because uh my his king is cut off and now this should be i think it's winning now i think this is this is winning now i will just try to improve the position to the maximum Mm, let's see. Okay, let's see. Ah, I don't know. I let the king out again. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if my technique is that good here. Guess let's play here. Okay, now I'm targeting h6. Rook e8. All right, time to activate that king.
Okay, check. Now his king is cut off. And now I'm just gonna, yeah, now it's winning. C5, king d5. This now his rook is uh, confined to passivity, so this has to be winning now. Yeah, it was very unpleasant to defend this with low time. Yeah, king e8, just king d5. Now just f3 to not allow any f4, rook f4. F3, rook f4, I mean, now just king comes to b6. And then c7, rook, rook h8, and uh, yeah, now it's winning. All right, so this was a tough game. A good game, Lawrence Trent. It's a good fight. All right, so let's see, who do we play now? Um, okay, so let's play some good players. Uh, let's play against uh, Juan Vlemas, 25-59. From uh, Mexico. Good luck, Juan Vilmas. Vilmas. Don't think I've played him before. So looking forward to a good game. All right, let's try this Petrov thing again. Let's see if he's better prepared for it. Ah, he plays knight c3. Okay, it's a little different story. Plays the four knights. All right, let's play bishop d6. One of the more solid lines. Yeah, I faced this recently in a tournament game too. But I, I think in that game I didn't play knight d4. So actually, why did I play d6 when I could have played d5? That's strange. All right, let's play just c6. Yeah, so now probably knight f6, bishop takes c4. Yeah, I guess he's doing pretty well because he's, he has very active pieces. So. Ah, okay, so now there's a problem. If I take on c4, queen e7 is, is coming. All right, what to do? It is what it is. I'm slightly worse. Yeah, somehow he outplayed me. I don't know, something I did wrong. I did something wrong. Yeah, now he can just take and go bishop seven. This is. Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's a mistake, I think. Yeah, because now it looks like at least I'm in. Well, it's still unpleasant, actually. Yeah, I'm going to have to lose a pawn here. Bishop c5, b6, takes f6, yeah. Yeah, I'll just have to lose a pawn and hope for some compensation. Huh, he doesn't play rook bishop c5. That's very surprising. Ah, but I guess he still loses, wins a pawn, right? He still wins it. All right. Yeah, I guess I got to give it to him. Yeah, he wins this pawn. Cannot do anything. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. So that pawn on d4 apparently gets quite weak in line. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that.
there are definitely problems in this line. Okay, at least I get some counterplay now. Let's play c4. At least I'm attacking a2. Okay, I don't know why he lets me take on a2. That's uh, at least I can equalize, I think. Yeah, so now let's see, b5, a5. Doesn't look so bad anymore. I think I can win the pawn back and maybe even play for more because I have more time. And uh, yeah, I mean, especially especially now, I don't know why he gave me this uh, fast pawn. He could have just taken it on a4, but yeah, very surprising. Yeah, now I'm just winning. Bishop d4, knight takes b4. Then knight takes c2. Yeah, it's just winning for black. Yeah, I was a bit lucky again. I mean, he outplayed me in the middle game, but then somehow once the end game started, he kind of misplayed it. Good game, one real mass. It was a tough one. All right, let's play some other good players. Let's play Heisenberg, uh, 2854. Three minute game. I don't think I've played him before. Heisenberg from France, or maybe I did, I don't remember. Okay, but if I did, it was probably a French. So let's try Karakam this time. Takes six, five. H4, H6, 97. All right, so again, we're playing this main line. Last time I did quite badly here. I'll just play here this time. I don't know why everyone's playing bishop of four, not bishop d2. I kind of thought bishop d2 is more common, but okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm misinformed. All right, let's just do this uh, queen d5 thingy with the idea of queen e4. Yeah, here this should be quite okay for black, just an end game, which is uh, I think easy for black to play. Yeah, now I might be threatening f6 and try to win the pawn. Okay, so now I'm just going to start putting pressure on his pawns a little bit. Yeah, this should be three, maybe. Yeah, I think this should be three is quite good. He has to take it, I think. Takes back, rook d2, and then let's say c5. And... Uh, Yeah, it looks like there's some problems for him. I think. Yeah, so surprisingly, this was a pretty comfortable opening for me where I kind of knew the plans and uh, something went wrong for him quite quickly. So, okay, now he's trying to get some counterplay, but I think it's not going to be quite enough. Knight takes, now he can't play rook d1 because of knight c3. And, uh, okay, let's go back to e3 now. Takes, takes. All right, let's get this check. Uh, let's see. Knight d5. Yeah, now I'm up a pawn, but also with a better position. And I'm also way ahead on the clock, which is uh, always good news. OK, can I just win another pawn? I think I can. All right, so now how to best convert this? 
I guess we just need to bring the king in the game. King in the game. All right, so now he has no entry squares with this king. So now it's just time for me to bring my king. Oh, oops. Okay, there is still some counterplay here, which I kind of missed. Okay, so I guess I just have to go back for a second. F4. Okay, so there is still some work to do, obviously. I'd... Okay, knight c2, knight d4. Okay, so, well, but then I just take and play b5, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's winning. <clears throat> so, okay, finally a clean game against this guy. Oh, actually, I did play him before. Made a draw. So it's like nice, nice revenge against Heisenberg. Last time he was the only guy who made a draw. I'm surprised I didn't remember. All right, so who else do we have? Do we have any other very high rated? Okay, let's play Schilling Ford again since we've played uh, this guy twice. Let's play Schilling Ford. The second time as well. It's three minute games. So, okay, last time we did French. Let's try Karakon against him this time. <clears throat> All right, so we got knight c3, knight f3. Okay, so let's see. Let's take it. Knight f6, and uh, okay, so take six. Queen e2, I think, is the most challenging move instead of taking on f6. This structure, I think, is very safe for black. Because I just go knight d7, rook d8, knight f8. Very easy development. And uh, this is very solid for black, I think. Yeah, all these moves are very easy to play. And now my plan is to play rook e8, rook d8, and maybe at some point sacking on h3 if my queen gets to d7. So. I would say position is equal, but more pleasant for black to play because my moves are pretty straightforward. Okay, queen did c2. All right, let's start creating some threats. I think bishop h3 is already a legitimate threat here. <clears throat> so last time I played Shelling Ford, I did win with black, but it was. Uh, it's quite a complicated game. It was like it became a, a a race till the end, sort of like we both had less than ten seconds. I remember in the end. So yeah, so he defends it, but now I get my bishop to f five to a very nice square. So my position is getting very good here. Queen b three. Let's see. Okay, let's go rook b eight. Get some harmony going. So maybe you can play g4, but then he has to count takes, takes. Okay, bishop d2, that makes sense. All right, so let's see what to do. Okay, let's go bishop b8. Takes, takes, okay, so rook e1. Uh, let's see. What now? All right, let's play bishop e4. Maybe next move f5. Maybe h6 of 5 to stop knight g5. He's still probably okay, but... Um, okay, let's play h6 because it's useful to make a loft anyway. Now we'll play f5. Also thinking about playing f4 in some cases. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, now let's play b5. Trying to get the d5 square for the for the bishop. He can play d5 himself, probably. Okay, he chose knight d2. Okay, let's take it. All right, so now it's time to create some initiative. So I guess it's time to push that pawn and try to create a little bit of a mess. All right, so now. F3 is very interesting. If king takes, knight h4 is mate. If knight takes, then uh, queen e4. Looks crashing, actually. All right, let's play f3. 
Okay, king, king back. Okay, but now queen e2 check. And simply bishop h2, I think it's just made. Queen e1, queen f2. Yeah. So it's a, yeah, queen e1, yeah, it's made. So it's a pretty nice game for me. I was very happy, you know, from start to finish. Uh, because my position was easier to play. All right, so let's see if there are any other top guys. Okay, let's play Sergei because he's been waiting for so long at this point that he's still there. Let's give him a game as well. So, uh, Sergei Rachmaninoff from Canada. Good luck. I think he, him also, I, last time I played with uh, with uh, Black, I, was, I think he stepped away. Oh, he was just typing. He was just typing stuff. So let me also write something to him. Yeah, so there he is. Okay, so Bishop G7. Yes, yeah, so let's play a double fin Kero. I think it's uh, kind of an interesting line. Yeah, D5 and uh, let's see, what am I supposed to do here? I think it's just... Uh, Okay, let's play six. Wait, is am I remembering it correctly? No, I think I think I might not be. I think it's I think it's knight a six first. Yeah, for some reason I'm not remembering it correctly now. Okay, so this I think uh, let's play six. Let's take it. All right, so now what? Okay, let's mm, okay, let's challenge his space once again and see what happens. Yeah, I'm burning too much time. That's a little, little bit of a problem. I don't remember exactly how to play for black here, unfortunately. But C6 looks pretty sensible. Rookie one, I think, in this position I'm not so familiar with. That's that's why. So let's take it. And mm, bishop d6. Okay, I didn't see that. Wait, can I just take on c4 though? Okay, I think I should because I have two points for the exchange. That looks decent for me in first glance. I guess he can play knight e5, takes, takes, mm, then what? How do I defend that pawn? That's the dilemma I'm facing. Knight e5, do I have to take if I play d5 first? Knight takes d5, knight takes d5, bishop takes f rook d8, bishop f7, king h8. It's a bit messy. Play rook c1, wow, that's... That's a strange move, and also isn't that a blunder? Knight g3. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't play knight e5. All right, so queen is queen c5 good? I think it's I think so. If he takes, I still am up two points. So yeah, it's looking good. Surprisingly, my position just turned around. It looked shaky, but then. Now I'm just uh, gonna be up two points for uh, some compensation, but definitely not not quite enough for two points. I don't think. All right, so let's see. Still, it's not so easy. He does have compensation. Ah, okay, so I need to go bishop f8. I need to drive that knight away. And then I can play rook e8 at least. Try to exchange the rooks. All right, so now let's see. All right, let's just take it, play rook e2. Knight d2, bishop h6. 
is possible f4 knight g4 bishop f3 seems so close to winning but i can't yeah yeah why on earth did i do that i saw that too okay here ah, that was stupid and now it's bishop g4 simply i should have just played bishop h6 earlier maybe wait why did he do that he could have just got the opposite color bishop yeah i'm a little bit surprised no now now i'm doing very well and rook e7 is also a big mistake now it's like dream scenario because now okay i just have to watch for the time but now position is definitely winning up for the up two pieces for rook and plus a pawn now i just have to play quickly okay now now it's going to be very easy of course yeah so he kind of got a bit nervous maybe um all right so let's see who else we have um uh, okay heisenberg is challenging me again but okay that's that's it for today my friend uh okay let's play violin five minute game but also 2500 guy so let's play some some more 2500s violin from austria haven't played austria today so let's uh, play good luck mr violin okay so g g3 let's play b6 so this thing is probably not great but i've played a lot of games against renato terry luyan in this uh line though so it worked out pretty well for me so i'm gonna continue doing it in blitz as long as i get good positions so i think black's position is easy to play now knight c65 is the idea just to equalize and then hopefully try to play for more he has a little bit more space so i need to at some point get d5 in and uh, break through <clears throat> so just a little bit of a note so guys so those of you who i've played twice um i'm gonna try to play some new people next time so generally my the priority goes to people who haven't played me before rather than people who played me again especially people who played me twice so but having said that even if i've played you twice if uh, if i've already played everyone else anyway then i'll still probably play you again so it just might not be next time but um definitely you'll still get a chance to play eventually it's just uh i want to make sure i give uh, everyone a chance to play at least once that's the that's the goal but uh i always enjoy tough challenges so thank you to all of the top guys who um uh, want to challenge me it's, uh, leads to very interesting games wait a second it's i think it says i got disconnected um hmm. you disconnected 25 seconds until loss wow what what on earth i hmm. so that's strange that's strange yeah, I don't know exactly what's happening. Huh. Yeah, something happened with my connection. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I don't, I don't know what's what to do in this case. So hopefully, 
I'm kind of relatively new to this, so I'm not sure what to do when I get disconnected. It's it's weird. Hmm. Okay, my internet seems okay. Oh, okay. It looks like I'm back. Yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, it looks like I'm back, but yeah, I don't know why I got disconnected. My internet seems pretty stable, but oh well. So I lost some time on the clock. Good thing it was not a three-minute game. So anyway, uh, sorry about that. Um, you know what to do okay but my position is looking good anyway because he has this uh, these weaknesses c4 and a2 and i have a good bishop against the knight on e4 which doesn't have uh, outpost squares so it's looking uh, quite good for me all right so let's play rook d4 Let's play mm, interesting here. Okay, let's see if I play here and here. Yeah, I guess he just plays rook c2. Yeah, that was kind of okay. I, no, it's good for me. I go before. Actually, I think it's uh, it's pretty good. I didn't see b5 ahead of time, but now that I looked at it, it's, it's quite good for me, I think. Queen, C, queen here. Okay, let's see. Bishop uh, six. Okay, let's play a five. Yeah, so now I'm up a pawn, right? I have uh, some some good uh, winning chances because I have uh, potentially a passed pawn that I can create on the on the Queen side. Okay, but he does have counterplays, so let's see. Maybe I should uh, harass this knight a little bit, or maybe maybe that was a mistake. Okay, let's go back. Didn't really see that move coming. All right, so knight here. Okay, let's just uh, play this then. Queen d two. Okay, so let's try. Let's see if I just keep playing like this. What is he going to do? All right, so let's take the pawn. I know this looks crazy, he, but I don't see yet what he's trying to do. Okay, so now I can take on e2. Uh, okay, so let's see, queen of one. King h4, g5 takes, takes. No, king h5 he has. That's surprising. Can he get away with that? I have I also have this move g5, threatening queen of one. Yeah, I think that's that move is good. I think that move is quite good. Because then I don't see a great defense for him. If he goes f4, I go g4 and queen h2. If he goes g4, I take on f3. So he has to take on g5, I think. I don't see anything else. And then I go hg, and uh, he does not have a perpetual. So, yeah, so g5 is quite important. Uh, he tries this. That's interesting. So, what's the idea? If I just take. I can also go queen f1, but then knight g2, it's not so easy. If I go g4, no, g4 is, okay, I should take it. Not mess around. Oh, that was a tricky move. <laughs> I think you saw I could take, but uh, 
he was hoping that I would just go king g7. So nice little trick there, but didn't work. All right, let's play Deepak M. Kinney, another high rated guy. Um, all right, good luck, Deepak M. Kinney from India. So let's see what he got. Let's see if he's here. Hopefully he is. Okay, I guess I'll wait for five, 10 more seconds. Looks like it's gonna be my first abort after the first game. So pretty good record today. But unfortunately, looks like this guy stepped away, which is uh, unfortunate. You gotta, if you challenge me, you gotta try to be there. Oh, okay, so now we have a title player, Asde. Let's play Asde, candidate master. All right, good luck, Asde from, let's see where is, where is he from, doesn't say. All right, let's see if he's here. There he is. All right, good luck. Try the English defense again. B6. Okay, let's give this check, bishop B4. Like a nice little subtlety, I think good in some cases okay knight d2 let's play just bishop b7 queen f6 queen f6 knight c6 is the idea of that line e5 um okay queen h6 Yeah, so now I want to break in the center, either with d6 or most likely with f6 to try to open up that uh, file. But maybe I'll go here first. See what he does against this knight of four threat. And then make a decision after that. He plays g3. Okay, that's obviously it's a double edged move. So it's time to probably break in the center with f6 to try to do some attack on the king. Knight e4. Okay, knight e4. So rook f3 probably is not convincing because takes takes rook knight f6 is pretty good okay so there is just rook f8 but i kind of want to bring both rooks in the game there's also rook f5 but that's putting it in an, on an awkward pin so but i will play it anyway because i don't see a good square for the knight to go to i didn't really want to go all the way back to f8 because i want to bring the other rook to f8 that's kind of my point and in the meantime, he needs to make some decisions. Okay, this move, I think I will meet with knight e5. Now I have a knight of three threat. And also I wanna get rid of that bishop, which is uh, kind of a bothersome piece to some extent. So now if I take, he goes knight d6. That's his point. So I will just go rook f8 and uh, increase the pressure. Like I wanted to do all along. And if he does d, okay, he doesn't do that. So now I could play e5. Mm, but e5 doesn't do that much. So I'll just take it. And uh, knight d5. And uh, let's go queen d6. Yeah, rook d1. Hmm. Okay, queen c5. I guess he's probably okay. It looked like I had, I had something, but it looks like he weathered the storm. But I'm still trying to 
create some nuisance for him. All right, so let's take it. This I kind of like for me though, rook b8. I think he should not have taken on c5 right away somehow. Because this position, I think it's uh, somewhat awkward for him. C6. Hmm. I should have played D6. I don't know why I didn't do that. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do that. It was kind of silly. Yeah, maybe he should have played Rook D1. But he's getting also low on time, and now I think I have it under control. If he goes Rook D1, I can take. And I don't think he has a petrol. Okay, so now it looks it's looking better for me. Okay, so king f7 takes takes king e6. Yeah, let's see. Okay, let's take it. Rook h5, a5. Yeah, and now this is winning. I mean, maybe not winning objectively, but the time situation is quite bad for white. So, okay, take here. Yeah, all right, check here. And there we have it. So another win. Um, all right, let's see. We have another 2600 guy. Let's play. Let's play all of them. All right, another black. So they keep giving me black. Okay, Munchino from Turkey. Good luck, Munchino. Let's play Karakan. Play this line. All right, so Queen A4, I'm supposed to go Knight D7 as far as I remember, G6. Here, here. Yeah, now I don't remember for sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, this queen b3, I don't remember. I think it's maybe knight c5. Uh, five. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall for sure. It's, it's been a while since I've looked at it. But I think I got a good position. I think he also confused something. Maybe knight c5, he's supposed to go queen a3, actually. And then I was going to try, um, yeah, takes. And then I was going to try uh, knight e4. But here, uh, this looks good for me, though, because he cannot take on b7, and I will get the pawn back on d5. And then I think structurally I'm, I'm doing quite well. But he's playing quite fast. so. But I'm not sure if he's playing good moves like d6. I'm not sure how helpful that is. Now, next move, I think I have queen c7. So, okay, his position looks a little bit dubious now. Yeah, now, now it's kind of hard for him to find a move. I mean, I guess he can go bishop e2. Okay, he, go, he goes here. But this one looks quite shaky, I think. Okay, I guess it's still playable, but... Okay, at the very least, I'm up a pawn. So now how to... How to consolidate the best way? That's the question. All right, I guess I don't have to give him a check. I can just go back here. There's no real reason to give that check. Because if I go rook e8, for example, f7 is hanging, so I didn't need to do that. Wow, castle's long. That's, uh, well, I guess he has no choice. He has to try something, but this looks very shaky. <clears throat> yeah, this looks very shaky. Just 
Let's go queen a5. And then knight b6, most likely a king b2. Yeah, he's, he's down a pawn. His king is uh, in shambles. King b2, I can also play b4. I mean, there's just so many possibilities here. All right, let's just play b4. I mean, b4 looks looks even more direct, opening up that bishop. Knight b6 was probably also winning, but if c4, then bishop takes d4, then knight c3. Okay, so he takes it. I just take here. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess I'll. I guess trading queens is probably the simplest here because I'm still attacking. Because of night before, he had some knight c4 move, maybe. So that was a little bit annoying. Bishop c4. I think bishop d7 is now quite good, trying to go bishop f5 and just trying to mate him. a3, but okay, just bishop f5 and knight a2. It's going to be mate. All right, Munchino. All right, so let's see who else we have. All right, so let's see if we have any other 2600. Okay, no more 2600s. Okay, so then let's just play people in order. Let's wait. Uh, ah, I already played this guy. I forgot. Ah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, I didn't realize I already played this person and he challenged me again. Yeah, generally speaking, I... Uh, I, I'm not, I don't really want to play the same person twice in the same day. So, but since I already accepted, I, I have to play. But please don't actually, if you already played me once uh, on the same day, you know, generally I want to play different people. So, um, yeah, that, that was a mistake. I, I didn't realize that I, as soon as I, as soon as I accepted, I realized, ah, I already played this person. But okay, at least it's a three minute game, so. Need to make sure I play everyone before I play someone twice. So. So if you already played me once today, then you're usually last in line that day. Okay, so since that, since I'm playing this person twice, I'm gonna play extra five minutes today to compensate because that was it's kind of my mistake so so the plan was two hours but now i'm gonna play like five to seven more minutes just gonna play it one more game then 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 the plan was originally yeah but this position is already very good for me one up one so this 94 is probably not a great line, but it's something that Simon Williams recommended in one of his videos, and it's interesting for Blitz probably. So I decided to to give it a go. Yeah, so he's losing. He's right down one. He's about to lose uh, another pawn on e5. Just going to win the second pawn. And now I'm going to try to convert this quickly. Going to try to play it quickly. Okay, now I'm winning the exchange. Yeah, and he resigned. Okay, so this game did not last too long okay so let's see i don't think i've played armchair so let's play armchair now all right good luck armchair uh where is he from from united states mm, wesley so is in the photo so mm. all right so i don't know if he's here or not I'll give it like five more seconds one, two, three, four, five. All right, sorry, armchair support. Um, all right, let's play this guy. 
imminent loss for you? Well, let's hope not. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's uh, imminent loss for you from United States. All right, good luck. Okay, there you are. All right, let's play G6 this time. Last time I played Knight of 3 B6, let's, this time let's play G6. Play that system. <clears throat> D6. Yeah, let's play a little bit of, um, uh, let's play Bishop G4. I've tried it a few times in my tournament games a while back. Leads to some fresh positions. And now white has a variety of choices. The A3 is like one of the main moves. G3 is also a move. So it leads to kind of a normal type of position. H3, bishop f5, as far as I remember, you're supposed to play. So if he plays g4, that kind of uh, loses a uh, tempo. Well, it doesn't lose the tempo, but creates weaknesses. Then I would go bishop d7 or bishop c8. So far, he's playing quite well, though. Bishop b2. Um, let's see. e5. <clears throat> okay, so we got some some King's Indian structure going on here. Uh, I think that was a blunder though. Takes takes e4. Or well, maybe it's not a, quite a blunder. He could maybe played in g4, but it's not really probably what he had in mind. Uh, but I think, oh, wait, I think it was me who blundered, actually. <clears throat> he could have taken on e4 and then taken on, and then got queen d4. So actually, I was the one who blundered with the four. But he kind of believed me, I guess. So that was a little fortunate for me. I actually, I was the one who blundered, didn't calculate it deeply enough. It's the kind of thing that can happen in blitz, of course. But in a long game, of course, it shouldn't happen. Yeah, my last two moves, I kind of expected from him. Yeah, now it's just up a piece, so it should be fairly easy to convert that. All right, uh, let's see who's next. Okay, so no pawn intended is challenging me again. Okay, so it looks like he. He stepped away, but now he wants to play again. But now, unfortunately, I have to play other people in line first. So let's play Breaker. And plus, I don't really have that much time for five-minute games now anyway, because um, we only have maybe 20 to 30 minutes left. So I'm going to now only try to play three-minute games if possible. So because five-minute games take a while. So... All right, so let's see if Breaker is here uh, from United States. Um, looks like he's not here, so we have to abort. Okay, let's see who else we have. Okay, we have uh, Devil 2251. All right, let's see if he's here. All right, uh, good luck, Devil 70 from Spain. All right, there we go. Game's on. Okay, so we got a French today, first one for today. We got a bishop d3, okay. Knight of six. Bishop seven. 
the 97, I think. And then E5. Yeah, I think that's that's quite decent for black already. From what I from what I know. This should be four. I think we're, let's see. Okay, so I guess I'll take it. Queen takes. Okay, let's play rook e8. And queen of six. Yeah, queen of four. All right, so let's uh, let's take it. Play. Ah, uh, he's Okay. Right, let's go bishop g four. Yeah, so I have a very pleasant position here, very nice time advantage. Bishop takes, rook takes. Yeah, I could have pre-moved that move, by the way. Yeah, knight of four, rook of, oh, you can't go knight of four. Yeah, starting to miss stuff already. Starting to miss stuff. Not good. Bishop d3. Yeah, it looks like a very nice position, but not quite winning yet. But applying some pressure. Maybe he could have gotten away with taking on b5 and knight d4 or something, but um, yeah. Uh, it's not so easy. Bishop here. Okay, let's. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I think I just made a blunder. Whoa, I just, I really got to wake up. Kind of fell asleep on the wheel here. <sighs> I can't move the bishop because of knight of six check. This is kind of, uh, yeah, he offered me a draw too. <laughs> okay, no, I have to play on because of the time situation, but. Yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate it was such a well, Play the game up to a while and then, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should objectively accept the draw, but um, just didn't seem right from a sporting perspective because I was uh, like, I, I created so much problems for him the whole game and gain this big time advantage so i think it's kind of fair to some extent that i had 
a time advantage. So yeah, it was a bad game, obviously, but um, what to do? All right, let's play their weekend Um Three minute game. All right, good luck. Their weekend also from Spain. All right, so we got two people from Spain in a row. Okay, we got a King's Indian. We haven't gotten King's Indians in a while, actually. Interestingly enough. Yeah, Bishop E3 is a little bit of a sideline. The most common move is, of course, D5, but I like to play Bishop E3 Blitz because it's a safer line. And you don't really get made it in that line. Yeah, now I have a nice comfortable space advantage here. And a nice healthy time advantage as well. So life is looking good in this game. Okay, let's move that knight away. I don't really want everything to trade off. All right, now I think bishop g5 is quite a nasty pin for him to deal with. I didn't want to play it right away because there was something hanging on d4 maybe, and the knight takes d5, but now bishop g5 is looking very good. Knight e5, yeah, and let's see. Let's try c5. Okay, let's take it. Um, okay. Let's see. Knight C7. All right, let's see now what. <clears throat> yeah, now it's just simply an extra form. Yeah, now it's kind of a tough position for him. Oh, now, now, it's, now it's now it's lost. Yeah, so I think towards the end I wasn't playing that well, but I guess still uh, still well enough. All right, so let's play now d forty five c forty six. Um, and I'm black against him, so let's see what he does as white. 
C45, C46, classical Queen's Gambit declined. Let's see if he's here. He is. All right, you know what? I'm going to give um, respect to his handle, and I'm going to play D45, C46, just for the sake of him, even though I don't play that opening that much. But just for him, I will do it. How about that? H4, wow. Okay, I haven't seen that move before. If bishop h4, I would still play a5, knight a6. It's an idea that I've learned from Casa Corley's game against Moisienko, one of the most brilliant uh, creative ideas you'll see. Uh, where Casa is Nayem, but he beats a strong grandmaster, Moisienko, with black in a very nice fashion. So I highly suggest you, if you're interested in this, interested in this opening, Take a look at that game. So, but yeah, uh, but here he played with h4, which is kind of interesting. Of course, I cannot take, but um, if I don't take, who knows what this leads to? So it's it's definitely very interesting. But for now, I am attacking the bishop on g5. So I'm thinking maybe I can maybe I can take it, and it takes the knight takes g5 and. Uh, yeah, and it's looking like it's possibly good for black, so. Yeah, so g4. Uh, okay, so mm, I think I can take it now. I know it's lo looking risky, but maybe I can get away with it. Although that, now that I look at it, he could play g5, so. Yeah, I think I just, I think I just played too risky here. What can I say? It's just very, very careless on my part. I guess I just have to play rookie eight. Takes knight takes and hope for the best and try to escape on a bait. But here, my position is very suspicious, I have to say. But at least I'm not losing right away, I don't think. But yeah, I think taking on g5 was probably not the best move. Could have just played b5 before. And... Ah, okay, he doesn't do that, though. That's surprising. Okay, now I'm going to at least uh, play rookie 8 anyway and uh, hope to survive this. Queen h2, oh, kind of missed that as well, but at least I have king f8. Then I can always play knight g8. And uh, yeah, position is very annoying, but at the same time, it's looking okay. Knight e4, okay, let's play d4. Okay, bishop takes g4. All right, so let's let's escape with the king. Defend f7. Yeah, it looks like we will survive this. Rook h6, or it's still dangerous. Okay, it's still dangerous. Okay, king e8. Whoa, what am I missing everything? Okay, I'm, I am going to win with because of the time, but yeah, I'm just getting, I'm just not seeing anything anymore. Wow. All right, takes. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, check. King c7. Yeah, he lost on time, but he was actually beating me. He played, uh, he played very well. Kudos to him. He played really well. Okay, Breaker, I'm going to give you another, one more chance to play. Let's see if you show up now. 
three minute game. So now you're gonna have to be black. Uh, okay, so let's see if he's here now. Okay, this time he is here. And depending on how quick this game goes, maybe we'll be able to play that five minute challenge. But uh, not sure, of course. All right, this should be three, this should be five. So I think here knight d5 is a fairly interesting move. So c6, I think, is uh, right away, I think, is not as good because I can take it. I can check and uh, okay. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, C five. Okay, I think it might be C five. Trying to recall here. So uh, I think he probably plays up six. Okay, he does this. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna. Take that as well. Yeah, and then I'll take on c5, and uh, I'm structurally a little bit better here. Yeah, so now I think this looks very good. Well, this one, I think, can I just take it and take here and take here? Yeah, this looks uh, this looks very bad. And now it's just down an exchange. Also, very safe position. Rook b7, rook a7, just winning all his pawns. Okay, so I guess I, I'll just take it. Takes, takes. All right, so. Rook C1, I guess. And Rook E6. He's still still fighting because he has that pawn left, that source of counterplay. But of course, that should not be enough. And now it looks like I'm going to win his knight. And uh, yeah, that should be that should be game. Yeah, so let's see, we have uh, we have only one more game left, so. I guess uh, I guess we can accept this challenge. So one more game left. So it looks like today was the one of the days that I was able to play everything, every game, which I'm happy about. And uh, since I started with one e four, let's finish with one e four, and let's play something fun in the last game, some kind of a gambit. So from what I know, 1500 rating means person is new to this uh, site. So it could either be someone quite experienced, like a very good player, or it could be a complete beginner. So we don't really know with, the, with this exact rating usually, but we'll see. Uh, 95, hmm. it's a little interesting. Okay, so let's take it. Take that guy. Let's play queen b3. It looks like I have, I have some good initiative, but maybe I'm slightly misplaying it. Who knows? But I definitely like my position because it's kind of annoying for him to defend that pawn now. Okay, let's just continue attacking him with e5. Um, all right, so now what to do? Yeah, he's defending correctly so far. Okay, so let's take it. 
And let's try 92 with the idea of knight f3. I, it might be a little bit slow, but it looks interesting. Okay, d6 probably has to be too slow. Because I think I should have something here, but don't see exactly what. Mm. Don't see an immediate knockout. Okay, I'll just play knight g5. I guess he'll just play knight h6. And then I'll play bishop d3, followed by knight e4. But here I think he can he can still fight, so I don't I don't know if I played correctly or not, but but okay, it's hard to okay, so he takes this one as well. Hmm. Uh, so now I think I can, of course, just take on c5 and give a check on e1. And uh, this looks very promising. King d8. So now I can play something like bishop d2, threatening bishop b4, kind of uh, gaining some tempo. And okay, now he finally made a big mistake. He should have played a5. Then I have very good compensation, rook c1, like very good initiative, I'm much better, but but now it's uh, game over, of course. So, yeah, uh, that's why I like to play Gambit sometimes, so it puts pressure on opponent. Uh, I think he doesn't know how to resign. Uh, he, or maybe he does, but um you should uh oh okay there you go he found it all right uh looks like i got a chance to play everyone today uh so it was perfect session uh two hours and got to play everyone so thanks everybody for coming for playing um uh, many of you gave me very good games i mean a lot of you had great positions it's just the time factor and a little bit of luck factor saved me and I was able to win somehow all of them today. But uh, a lot of you guys played very tough games and uh, uh, let's hope next time some of you guys will uh, will win against me. That's, that's the goal. But I will continue to make it tough and play hard and hopefully uh, play better next time on my end. Thanks everybody for for coming and and uh, enjoy watching the candidates tournament. Hopefully, we're looking forward to seeing some exciting chess there. We'll see if Jan Nipomnish is able to hold on to his lead. Big game tomorrow, MVL against Nipomnish. Let's see if MVL can catch up to him by winning with White. <laughs>